do a quick reading on what is with Melania this morning. Uh, Ms. Trump is looking a bit uh, stiff. <laughs> Shall we say a little stiff before the French delegation. And so let's just see what's going on in her mind. What is going on in Melania's mind today? <laughs> President Emmanuel Macron and his wife Brigitte. He's obviously there, joined by First Lady Melania Trump. I want to bring my panel Oop. in. John Meacham. I don't know NSA. how I got this on. Okay. Let me see what else we have. I want to see the topic. Well. <laughs> oh my God. Really, Melania? Okay, so what we have going on with Melania Trump today. Oh yes, it's a little snooty here. <laughs> As the French delegation is coming in, she's like, uh, yeah, here we are. And, and my husband is, is here and he's going to give this little pittance, okay? <laughs> I'm so about it all. Give my husband can give his little pittance to the to the French. <laughs> it's like really Melania. So here on the other side we have yes the coming together, the alliance. We have to do this alliance. But on the other side we have uh yeah her house, her husband's house is falling. It's crumbling. What's underneath, she knows they're going to try to do. He's going to try to get away with what he can get away with. And that he's uh, above. You know, Trump doesn't want to give up anything. He's hanging on to his stuff, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, they're supposed to be talking about trade, talking about alliances, talking about, uh, you know, of course, Trump is so set, he's miser, he hangs on to everything, and she knows the house is falling. Okay. So I'm trying to throw a few more cards to see what we have here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what we have in the second level is... This pittance, you know, again, just looking at the screen, looking at observing, seeing what's happening with this. Okay. She's kind of self-satisfied, you know, in her drama, and it's just someplace she has to be. On the other side, as far as these alliances, these things that are coming, it's a time for getting together, looking deeper, you know, she sees it as a way to, maybe they'll look deeper. Underneath of it all, though, you know that it's, again, a bunch of vipers' nest. <laughs> Trump never says anything straight. He's such a viper. So you get, again, many tongues and what he can steal away with and all the crap he's going to talk. On the other side, again, the house is falling. She's got the insight about that. 
trying to hold together, I guess, her deportment as much as she can going through this. And, uh, you know, as far as him holding on to all his drama, she's hoping this situation will resurrect and uh, get on a little bit higher level, okay? <laughs> We're hoping that it gets to a little higher level. Yeah, as far as him, um, again, looking deeper, no, he's just going to sit there and mull over his usual, brood over his usual nonsense, okay? As far as what he can steal away with and his viper talking, we have, uh, let me throw out a few more so we can get the whole picture here. Yeah, no, it's just, it's going to really kind of go nowhere. We have here what he's going to try to steal away with, his BS talking as usual, rapidly coming, you know, it's the chariot. We're going to rapidly come to another time, you know, it's just going to, wheel is going to continue, and that's the end of that, okay? That's the end of that. It's really not going to go anywhere. Uh, it's kind of a round robin of uh, whatever. Okay, let's see what we get for this with the tower falling. Yeah, as far as the tower falling, and she's got that insight. Again, just trying to sit there with some kind of dignity of truth and hold on to her own personal truth. Okay, she sees the truth of what's going on there. It's plain, <laughs> big sword right there in front of your face. Okay. So let's see what else we have. Uh, yeah. So as far as her hubby over here wanting to really, she wants him to resurrect things, really begin to speak with them, you know, but again, all he's going to do is talk about what he's done so far, how great he is, his usual drama, and say, you know, we need to look deeper at this. But again, he's just surrounded by his own drama. He is just absolutely surrounded by it. So that's what we've got on Melania and the happenings today with the French and their talks. They're supposed to have this big, huge meeting. It's really going to be a big circular thing that, that doesn't go much of anywhere. He'll get in there, brag about everything he's done, how fabulous he is. They'll have a dinner and they'll go home. <laughs> okay. That's about the size of it. We made our appearance, okay? We put up with this boorish, you know, drama about saying how great he is and how fabulous and everything, but nothing's going to come out of it. <laughs> They're biding their time. The wheel is turning. We're biding our time and just let us get back to France. Okay, maybe we'll have a, a decent dinner tonight. <laughs> so namaste, thank you for tuning in. And, uh, yeah, better luck with that, Melania. 